Hey, Chris Matthew here from Skynet. I'm taking a break uh, from coding for a little while to play with some of the new technology that we're experimenting with. So you probably saw uh, us announce uh, not long ago uh, the Skynet operating system that runs on an Arduino. It runs on either the Ethernet uh, shield or the, the Wi-Fi shield. And literally, there's no CPU. So all I've got is power and Ethernet. When this little device uh, uh, goes online, it authenticates with Skynet and uh, it has a UUID and a secure token. Uh, so it authenticates and it uh, basically sits and waits for instructions. Instructions can be, you know, light up various pins, turn off or on voltage on pins. It could also, uh, you could also request from Skynet uh, data to be streamed from other pins, analog or digital, uh, like sensor data. Uh, so that's pretty interesting. Um, when you combine that idea with this other uh, kind of secret little project we're, we're alpha testing right now, um, is we're calling it the Skynet Playground, which is a, a version of Node Red that is uh, basically a Chrome application. So everything runs in the client, and there's all sorts of interesting things, and everything is connected. Uh, to Skynet. So we have um, uh, HTML5 notifications, we have uh, text-to-speech widgets, uh, speech recognition widgets, um, Chrome database widgets, and uh, this new Arduino widget is uh, designed to talk directly to our Skynet operating system. So in the Skynet operating system it runs on Fermata, so rather than the developer knowing how, needing to know how to turn off or on like, you know, hex Fermata commands to send to the device, uh, our little uh, widget takes care of all that for you. Uh, you basically just, you know, give it the, the you know, the UUID is already set up uh, corresponding to a name. Uh, so I've named mine Arduino. And um, you can have lots of them named Arduino. That they all correspond to unique UUIDs. And then I told it uh, to light up pin 8. So I have an LED grounded and uh, the positive end on pin 8. I've told it that it's Arduino, uh, a digital, and uh, what I can do here, so because we have to send it uh, a, a zero or a one uh, for Fermata, like a true or false, I have this little um, toggle uh, JavaScript uh, node written here that just toggles between zero and one. So, so check this out. So if we just inject uh, here, it will toggle that pin. It'll send it a one. Notice the HTML5 notification I have a notify uh, uh, widget on here as well. So if we inject again, it should send it a zero and notify us uh, about the zero. Did you see that pulse? That's also something unique to our uh, application. It's all connected via WebSocket, so everything's really fast, real time. So when you click a button, notice the pulse. It, it real time lights up the path of events and triggers that are flowing through the system uh, right now. I'm just scratching the surface. I want to show you a couple of other interesting, really interesting things. So um, I can also, so right here is a Skynet widget. Uh, it has a UUID. Uh, I just called it me. It's just a, a, a UUID I have connected to Skynet. On this end, I have the same UUID. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to inject a command from here. That's going to communicate to our, our Amazon EC2 cluster of uh, Skynet servers. Uh, and, and then that will then communicate on, as the input here. So when I hit inject, it's going to go to our Amazon West Coast uh, cluster and then in real time hop back over to here from uh, West Coast through the same conversion uh, 0 to 1 and hit the Arduino and hit the notifier. So watch this. So just turned it off, turned it on. So that's all traveling through Skynet. You saw the nice little pulse there. That's kind of cool. Wait, we're just still getting started. Uh, what if I said uh, I wanted to pass it a string? I can say hello, Skynet. Oh, wait, watch this. I can take this TTS widget, text-to-speech widget, widget, put it here. I can connect uh, the inbound to text-to-speech, and uh, let me let me pick the uh, voice. Let me say uh, a British female voice. That's good. Say OK, hit save. The save is all happening locally. This is a Chrome app. So now watch this. Make sure my speakers are up. 
when I inject, I'm going to inject the payload being Hello Skynet. It'll flow through our Skynet cluster, uh, come through uh, on the, the top uh, row here, speak uh, what I had as the payload, also announce it via the notify, and toggle the Arduino light. So watch this. Hello, Skynet. And uh, that's pretty interesting. Now watch this. Wait, ready for one more interesting uh, idea? I got two more up my sleeve. Um, we've got some WebRTC into this thing. So now I can inject a, an image uh, through Skynet. It base64 encodes it. And then it'll also come out as a notification and toggle the Arduino here. So I'm going to hit the image. It'll turn on my camera. 1,398,804,803,001. Oh, hang, hang on. I forgot to do something. I need to, I need to wire this, uh, this inbound me to the notify now. Now when I hit this... One trillion three hundred and ninety eight billion eight hundred and four million eight hundred and twenty two thousand and forty eight. So that was speaking uh, part of the, the, the encoded uh, base 64 message. One more interesting thing. There's a speech recognition uh, uh, node that we're playing with. So I can take this little guy, attach it to um, the, the toggle, turn it on. Oops, I got to save. And then I'll, I, I can talk and it'll basically toggle every time it recognizes. Oh. Let me also pass the input to the notify so you can see what I said. Turn off. Turn off. Turn off. Turn on. Is that not freaking awesome or what? Scan it out. 